whether these items are pure or are they a mixture. In this video, we will learn how matter around us are mixtures of different substance and the types of mixtures. As you can see, beating the rock physically will not break down the silicon and oxygen from it, hence it is not a mixture. A mixture is a constituent or a physical combination of more than one substance. Substance cannot be broken down or separated into other kinds of matter by any physical process. Depending upon the nature of the substance, we can have two different types of mixtures. Here is a tablespoon of salt mixed with water. Stirring the beaker will result in a mixture which is homogeneous in nature. That means the mixture appears uniform to the human eye. Hence, this mixture is called homogeneous mixture. In the second beaker, we now mix a tablespoon of oil and water. So stirring the beaker will not result in a mixture which is uniform in nature. A mixture which is not uniform is called heterogeneous mixture. In this next activity, we will take three test tubes, each containing an equivalent amount of water. In each of these test tubes, we will add one of these three ingredients, that is copper sulfate, wheat flour and ink. On slightly shaking the test tube, the copper sulfate is now mixed with water. And here, we notice that the mixture is uniform throughout. This type of mixture is known as a solution. The second test tube is mixed with wheat flour. After stirring, it is kept undisturbed for a few minutes. After a few minutes, we can see that the mixture is not homogeneous. Since we can see the flour settling down at the bottom of the test tube, this type of mixture is called suspension, since the particles are suspended in the liquid. For the third beaker mixed with ink, we notice that it is somewhat homogeneous in nature, but in fact it is not. It appears to be homogeneous due to the relative size of particles of water and ink. So this type of mixture is called a colloid. Hence, the three types of mixtures are solution, suspension and colloids. Thank you for watching this video.